men, women, everything. They all agree. Rihanna's scorching hot. This is the She's one. She's fire. She has mugis, music that they love. To Nadeska's point, there's not a person that doesn't, that doesn't have a song that they like from Rihanna. Rap Life Review, let's get into it, man. As Apple Music uh, presents the uh, Super Bowl halftime, we did a thing yeah. because Rihanna said she was doing Super Bowl halftime. Mm -hmm. And so we all, bad signal went up, we gotta make some stuff, cause there's a thing. And the thing involves Rihanna, so our stuff gotta line up with that. So everything we're covering today is all about Rihanna at the Super Bowl, and then maybe some talk about other Super Bowl things. And I'm probably gonna do something like prematurely try to rank Rihanna's impact at the Super Bowl Typical. versus other Super Bowls, and we ain't even seen the woman perform, but it is mother effing Riri, fam. <laughs> so, it needs to be done this now and after she performs. Rihanna coming back as a new mom, as a billionaire, people wanting Rihanna music, and she decides, it's time, I'm back outside, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna take the biggest stage in entertainment, by the way. Super Bowl halftime, I think does 200 million viewers. I don't think there's anything on planet Earth, not an award show, anything, that even sniffs that number. Mm -hmm. How big would you rank Rihanna against other Super Bowl moments that you have I'm, seen? I mean, I'm, heard of? I'm trying to think of like when, you know, a Beyonce, a Michael, a Dr. Dre, like I'm trying to think the moments surrounding these announcements. You know, where were these people at in their career? What were they doing? What was the directory? Oh, let's not forget Prince in the rain. Prince, yeah, like I'm Prince trying to. Prince in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where were these people at? And because we haven't seen Rihanna and Lord knows how long, on the music side. That's right. Five, six, seven years. And this is how she determines to announce her comeback. I think this ranks very, very high in just regards of the announcement alone. Mm -hmm. And how she just literally stopped the world. We were all enjoying our Sunday. And what happened? Got the call. Everybody put everything everybody down. Everybody stopped everything. Everybody stopped everything. And we just see a picture of a football and a tatted wrist. That just gave us so many clues about music, mm -hmm. album. Like, we should have started, you know, putting the conspiracy theory hats on and, like, what? Who's performing? Who's performing? With her, what the, what show, like, we're doing set lists. I'm doing cheat sheets. We're trying to figure out if this person's coming out, this, that, and the third. All that speculation just by one picture. So now, I think this ranks very, very high. The reason I think, and this is adding to my theory of all of the things that she had going on, the reason why I think this might be one of the biggest Super Bowl moments is because last year when Dre, Mary, M, Snoop, Kendrick, 50 were there, there wasn't this like thirst for new music because those guys are all semi-active. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, there is the cultural impact piece of Dre and all of them, you know, gangster rap throughout the years and this being on a mainstream stage and it was in Los Angeles at the new stadium and the Los Angeles the team won, won. Right. the yeah. damn Super Bowl. Like, there are things that lined up the to make it... The stars aligned for that situation. Huge. It was huge. Yes. This is still different. Yep. We, like you said, they were all active. Mary was active with the music, Kendrick, you know, making his music, Dre and Snoop still active in the industry. But, but that was also a lot of nostalgia, right? Yeah, no, yeah, C completely. Because yeah. Kendrick did moment. perform new music. Right, so we were right. looking ahead to that, but that was us looking back at the past, what, 10, 15, 20 years yes, and reliving yes. those memories and feeling happy that rap finally had that moment on stage. This is the stars lining up in a completely different way. Right. I don't then, want no music right. from Rihanna on, on that, that stage. stage. Yeah, I don't think no. any of us need that. Her catalog is big enough and it's like you said, she's been busy with Fenty, hit crossing off a of Billy, being a mom, taking time with her family, doing all of that, not putting out an album for years and to return in this way this is like a once in a lifetime yeah. moment. Like the yeah. buildup here is crazy. Yeah. So talk about uh, 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 the impact for you, Nadeska. Being Caribbean, being a mom, being back at work. Like this doesn't, does this like strike a chord with you just on a human level? You know, how, how big is this just for women? I guess you look at people like Beyonce and, and Ariana and, and you realize that like you can't have it all. It's not going to be easy, right? All of them, they've put in like decades to get there. You know what I mean? Put in so much work. But the idea that you can 
have a family, which always keeps you happy at the core, that you can have a successful business and businesses um, that are adjacent to the thing that actually like sets you off on your trajectory. It's so crazy, especially like, yeah, having like a baby is a different experience. Like for someone like Rihanna, who like is independent, we love her because she always does what she wants. The hardest part for me of being a new mom is realizing like, oh, I have a person that I'm responsible for 24 seven. Like I can't leave the crib without making sure this person is taken care of. That's a lot to wrap your mind around. So the fact that she's doing that, still doing her new mom thing and can come back like this to put in the time to do the Super Bowl, it's crazy. Where are we ranking this Rihanna moment now? now. Wait, what's the thing you always say people have? It's like recent memories. Recent history bias. Okay, so. I'm having it. Okay, I'm just checking. I'm just checking. I'm hype, bro. Just checking. I'm hype right now. Uh, I mean, listen, I don't even know if people are like, yo, so Drake put out a dance album. Rihanna, uh, I mean, Beyonce put out a dance album. Rihanna been doing this. Right. So you think part of it was her being like, y'all relax. Let me just remind no, you. Like, that oh, we doing here. this now? Okay, so we doing chess, this now. So it's a chess move. <laughs> or just like, uh, oh, we... Are we in the club? So I right, so <laughs> in the she, club. Is she gonna is she gonna throw you know her hand in the pot? Like, okay, you did that, you did that, and now I'm gonna really do it. I mean, is it listen, that or does she just go completely? I don't know. I she's just gonna know put out her that, rap album like, finally. Since everybody's <laughs> trying to so, make dance music. There's so much there. Like once again, we knew what Dre, Snoop, Kendrick, and all of them were gonna do. Mm -hmm. We we know Rihanna's discography. But we ain't seen her on stage, stage in a minute. Yeah, I'm. I'm sorry. Like this I, might be one of the biggest not, moments ever in halftime history. I don't. I. I. I want to be mindful in how. Because you don't want to smoke with the Navy, is what you're about to say. <laughs> I don't need none of that. Just for me, just in general, like just watching what Dr. Dre, Snoop, Kendrick, Fifty, M, Mary J. Blige, all have. You know, the synergy made records together, hit records together. That watching that in LA during that time, just looking at the set of LA laid out as their superstars, their forefathers are performing in front of the world. You never- Okay, but if they do Run This Town and Jay comes out and Kanye so comes out- So now you just, right, now you I'm just saying, like, bro, like- Now you just threw me off. Literally the earth may tilt different. If Rihanna, Hove, and Kanye come out and do Run This Town, just even, even, Listen, because you know Kanye not playing with hoes, bro. <laughs> Aren't they good now? They're good. I don't, of course, yeah. But I'm just saying, you know, Kanye's the wild card. He could get on the mic and who knows? That's what I'm saying. Like, nah, like, but I'm he not, ain't playing. If I'm Kanye, girl, know when to play and when not to play. Are we all on the same page? Pusha T gonna be backstage if, <laughs> waiting to make sure he's If stays I'm your bro, I'm sorry. If I'm Rihanna, I'm not taking that chance. But Rihanna you, will look I at. I do not give yo, a. Yo, you are not taking that opportunity. When I'm returning to this stage, I'm returning to this industry. Man. I'm, re I'm not. No, nah. Rihanna I'm might not. get up there and spark a blunt, fam. That's cool. That's Ri Riri might get up there and spark a blunt. And be Snoop, like, yeah, yo, Snoop will smoke. Yo, Snoop yo, will smoke Kanye, it. You know what time it is? Yo, right, bro, let me tell it. you something. Let me tell you something. No, let me tell you something. Okay. Kanye not playing with that black woman on that stage. Mm -hmm. I understand that. Kanye is not playing. We'll see what's gonna happen. Well, we got a lot to speculate about, but at least we did get to talk to Dr. Dre about what happened last Great year. Great point. Yeah. Um, we had a convo. Dre called in. He had some some encouragement uh, for Rihanna, um, and we got to talk to him about what it kind of you know took to make that happen last year. Dr. Dre, what's up, sir? What's up? How y'all doing, man? Listen, I know Sunday, that's your day, and you're taking time for us, so I just want to say thank you, sir. I just wanted to get you on your expertise around this moment. You know, the process of putting this together is so... I don't know if I've ever been that nervous before. Wow. Not only that, I don't know if I've ever looked more forward to a Monday morning. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually just got the news that Rihanna is going to do it, and I'm a super fan of Rihanna. What? I can't wait to see what she's going to do, but it's an extreme amount amount of pressure but it's fun at the same time and when it's done it's like goosebumps bro and she has the opportunity to really blow us away Dre thank you for your time enjoy your Sunday now the internets are going crazy mm -hmm. and have been non-stop since this announcement was made I haven't seen a negative response which brings me to my point do any of you know someone who does not like Rihanna that's a I serious don't. question I, well, and I'm gonna take you somewhere else as, as someone who used to watch a lot of football like literally my entire Sunday, from the moment football came on until the moment football went off, for 16 weeks, I would watch football on Sunday. I've never seen anything like this, fam. 
when Janet Jackson was performing, our obviously huge moment, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, Janet's performing? Mm -hmm. I'm watching the halftime. I'm gonna watch the halftime of Super Bowl. I don't care. That's to bring the ladies in the room and the non-football fans and the family gathers around. Because when you're at the Super Bowl party, everybody's eating the food. I, they don't know what's going on on TV. Yeah. I didn't even like Super Bowl parties, fam, because I don't want you talking during the game. Rihanna's performing. Men, women, everything. They all agree. Rihanna's scorching hot. This is the She's one. She's fire. She has mucus, music that they love. To Nadeska's point, there's not a person that doesn't, that doesn't have a song that they like from Rihanna. There's another side of football fans that do not want to see her. And I know that side of Twitter exists, and I bet you you're going to start seeing that kind of Absolutely surface. not. No, it happened with Beyonce. Absolutely not. It's there. You know it's there, Ebro. Not with Rihanna. I'm going to yeah, tell you no, why. It's there. I'm tell it you exists. Why. The dirt bags are going to want to see what happens with the Savage Fenty apparel <laughs> at the Super Bowl. They're lining up. The women who just want to see, like, what am I supposed to be wearing when I buy my Savage Fenty are lining up. All right, yo, look, we, yeah, I'm going to bring this up every week until the Super Bowl. i never seen you this excited about nothing. Yo, I'm At excited, this point, you'd be man. clowning me and, and Lo for being this hyper. You know how we get excited. This man always got some one, two thing to say. But now, <laughs> he's a schoolgirl, just yes. glee. Giddy. Giddy as hell. Giddy. I might wear a fur coat with no shirt. Sitting on the couch <laughs> at the Super Bowl, chest hair all out, waiting for Riri to come on with a brewski in my hand. Like, let's get it, ma. It's time to go. Listen, um, we also, we talked to Zane Lowe. We talked to Eddie. Um, thank you, everybody that supported uh, as we got a chance to celebrate here on Apple Music One. The uh, Super Bowl halftime announcement special was inc incredible. This is the Rap Life uh, Super Bowl halftime special also. Uh, this is what Zayn had to say, uh, his thoughts on Rihanna performing at the Super Bowl. The one I think that, I don't know if you guys mentioned, it might seem like a curveball to some people, but two of Rihanna's biggest songs are Calvin Harris songs. Yeah. Right? This is what you came for, and we found love. And those two songs are essential sort of um, touchstones in her musical journey. Yo, shout out to Zayn for po pointing out the, the Calvin Harris. That was a good I think we yeah. were too geeked arguing about Kanye and Drake and all of that. Well, because there's a part of me that. that's just like, yo, Drake and Rihanna not beefing. That's bygones be bygones. They got hits. They probably cool. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't that why be a great wouldn't moment? He, why wouldn't he step on that stage? Yeah, unless it's like controversial. I don't think it's controversial, but then I don't know what's going on in their personal life. I just thought it would be dope. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, could be another Eminem moment. Yeah. Because they got records together. Um, so, yeah, it's... She's got to touch all those, you know, all cylinders. She's yeah. got to touch all cylinders. All of them. Um, well, look, man, um, y'all make sure you subscribe to the Rap Life Review right where you're watching on YouTube. Add that Rap Life playlist. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Also, too, another thing, uh, all the Rihanna catalog, uh, you're going to make a cheat sheet. I'm going to have one. I have one. I'm working the on low it. low-key cheat sheet of what he thinks the set list might be and just classics in general. Mm -hmm. Also, Rihanna essentials all over the service. And, you know, we've been speculating there might be some new music. She might seize this moment. So we're going to have that ready for y'all, too. For Nadeska and Low, I'm Ebro, man. It's Rap Life Review. If you were feeling that episode of the Rap Life Review, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have a question for us, leave it in the comments and we'll hit you back on the next episode.